D'Artagnan was a boy, not a girl, Wendy. D'Artagnan is a last name. Let us assume that he's my brother, who took a sick leave. Hmm? I took his place. Uh Let's not forget that we're all the Three Musketeers. I'm sorry to interrupt you again, but we are four, so we can't be the Three Musketeers. If we're four, we should be the Four Musketeers. The book is called The Three Musketeers, so we will be three, even though we are Four Musketeers. Well then, we need to find the Queen's earrings and save her. My brave musketeers, bring me back my earrings. I forgot them across the river. If I don't get them back, my parents will punish me. And beware of the cardinal's guards. No, don't stop. I will hold them back. No, you won't. We will hold you back. No, you won't. I will hold you back. No, we will. No, I will. No, we will. No, I will. Guys, guys, let's I hold will. somebody back already. Get the musketeers. Oh. Oh. Hey, George, I mean Aramis. Hold them. Why can't you do it yourself? I promised my mom to come home early today. Hmm. How could I hold them back? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Ugh. I've got a serious disease. It's called a dry gulch syndrome. A dry gulch syndrome? Is it contagious? Yes, very. Well, tell me, how can it be cured? Can you bring me that plantain leaf from over there? I think George succeeded in holding them back. Here are the earrings. Whoa! the dry gulch syndrome. I say your Aramis didn't hold us much. Right away, I knew he was faking it. I know him so very well. Don't play the fool with the Cardinal's guards. The Queen's earrings. She forgot them in the forest and her parents would give her a scolding. Too bad that neither of you, my dear and brave musketeers, could bring these studs back to Her Majesty. Instead of doing it that way, the Cardinal's guards would bring them to her. Is that real? The Cardinal's guards would save the Queen and not the brave musketeers? I don't like this ending at all. Let's get them. Come on. Thank you all, my brave and loyal lifesavers. Oh! oh! <laughs> Hmm. Well, the ending of the play is a bit unexpected, but why not indeed? Bravo! Wow! They didn't get that much applause in the book! Hey, friends! Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes! Awesome movie! With the sword cut in half, then he was alive again! I was on the edge of my seat. He sat through the whole movie with his eyes shut. He didn't see a thing, I swear. No, no, I wasn't! I heard everything. <gasps> oh, look, old Billy's house is like the Black Castle in the movie. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> I can hear someone is snarling. And it's definitely not a steam engine. It's as if somebody is creeping up on a victim. Creeping up on a victim? Ah! So Grandpa Billy changes into a monster every moonlit night, just like this tale says right here. 
What kind of monster can you check up and learn about? It's important. Well, it doesn't actually say here, but it sounds horrible and dangerous. Very dangerous. Poor old Billy. It's because he's so lonely, I guess. But what if we're wrong about it? There's only one way to check up our theory, guys, and I think I got it. <laughs> guys, I say we wait until the full moon comes out. And then we'll just... What, what will happen then? Well, surely, then he'll come out and eat you up. That's what. Why me? It could be you. I helped Grandpa Billy water his flowers and you didn't, you know. George, why did you bring a bucket of water? I heard that, or rather I read in a book that if you water them, they become friendlier. That's it. Guys, the moon is out now. Soon Grandpa Billy will turn the lights off and then... Arnold, put the bucket down. I was only holding it, you know. What do you know? Everybody needs a bucket. <laughs> Why did you run away? Why did you run away? That's it, everyone. Now we need to take action immediately, guys. Okay, bait is delicious food that a monster loves, but he doesn't have any for himself. I don't want to be bait. Besides, you know I'm not delicious at all. Oh, but you're just a, a fat guy. Huh, it makes you so yummy, so live with it. How's he gonna find out that I'm here? Well, first he'll smell you, and then he'll come out and eat you up. I mean, he'll try to, but we'll give him a treat from the bucket. George, I think I don't have any smell at all. Then how? Like this? Oh. No, no, not appetizing enough. Learn from me. Listen. Ooh! Huh? That's outrageous! They won't let an old man sleep. There he is. There. Spill water on him. Quickly now. Quickly. There you are, you naughty kids. Just you wait. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I wish I were you. Look at me. I'm all wet. You know what I think. Maybe Grandpa Billy made noises in his sleep like this. Was he just snoring? <laughs> Ethan, why aren't you going to play outside? Mom, am I beautiful? Ethan, you are the most beautiful little train to me, my darling. I'm beautiful to you because you're my mom. But what about the others? Ethan, outer beauty is not the only thing that matters. Good deeds matter. Politeness, kindness, and honesty. You need them to be beautiful, my love. Is that it? I'll go and do something good to become the most beautiful little train in the whole city. What? <sighs> it's beautiful, huh? Oh, Ethan, you scared me. I think its beauty is stunning. What, more than mine, you mean? Ethan, you're kidding me. You can't possibly compare yourself with this microscope here. What microscope, George? Ethan, are you sure that one good deed is enough to become beautiful? You might need two good deeds for the whole body to be beautiful. One should be enough to get beautiful eyes. Hello, Mrs. Ooh. Dove. Can we help you to get to your wagon home, please? Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. You are so very nice. You see, George? We are nice before we actually did something. Can you imagine mm. our stunning beauty after mm. we do good deeds? Oh, the wagon is so heavy. <sighs> Hey, look at me. Am I now more beautiful than before? I think that your left eye got a bit wider. Oh. 
then a wagon is not enough to make me beautiful. Mrs. Dove, can we please clean up your house? Ooh! I completely forgot about being polite, honest, and kind. I just wanted to say, Mrs. Dove, thank you very much for everything. Thank you so much for letting us clean your floor, Mrs. Dove. Thank you very much, boys. I appreciate it. All the best to you, Mrs. Dove. And bon appetit. <coughs> and good night to you. Oh. <gasps> All right. The good deeds are done, and we've been polite. Honesty is left. It's one serious trail. Can we clean a floor again instead? Okay, then. I broke a glass, I was late for school, I didn't brush my teeth, I haven't done my homework, I didn't listen to my mom. And I forgot to clean my room and... Well, okay, it's time for my turn now. Back in the time when I was a little train, I was late for <sighs> class once. <laughs> All right, then. I guess now it's time for kindness. And then, George, beauty will be ours. Whoa! Oh! Guys, I'm sorry. It was an accident, I swear. Oh, Arnold, you're such a great guy, Arnold. Mm -hmm. You hit me just a little bit, and my bruise is so small. Are you hurt at all, Arnold? Hey, sorry, guys. I'd better be going. <sighs> Hello, kids. Well, then, isn't it a lovely day today, eh? Hello, General. Uh, can you tell us something? We've been kind, honest, and polite from the beginning of the day to the end of it. When shall we become more beautiful? It's very good to be honest, polite, and kind. That's for sure, of course, dear boys. But one day is not enough to become beautiful. You need to be like this forever, every day for the rest of your lives. Boom, 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 boom. Uh. Oh, Ethan, as a matter of fact, I think your other eye got wider, too. <laughs> hey, friends, press to subscribe and watch the new episodes. Uh -oh. <laughs>